Hey YouTubers, it is Gizzy Greenfingers here, and yet yeah, it is another Weeping Willow update. And that is because this tree grows so quickly, I can't keep up. So I thought, since I'm documenting this tree from its cutting that I took two years ago, I thought I'd better do an update. And what is this update about? Well, selective branch cutting and wiring. Now, I'm starting to wire it. It is August the 20th. And I'm starting to wire it down because I'm thinking, well, we've got a good month, maybe two months of decent weather. So if I wire it now, it might stay to that shape so I can remove those wires in the winter and put wires on the smaller shoots that I am trying to get and we'll talk about that further on in the video. So as you can see I've been a busy chap and I've been wiring my little, my little fingers away for this work of art. Yes, it's going to be a work of art. If I do say so myself, it's just got a long way to go yet and it's getting more tricky as time goes on because I'm getting so much more branches and yeah if, if you've got a lot of trees you're not going to be able to keep up luckily I've got a selective selected few trees they will be my retirement fund and this branch is the branch I'm keeping an eye on not that little one but the whole big one because that's the one I think's dying um, it's just a colour. It reminds me of branches that have died in the past and me seen that have died in the past. So this, and that's the whole branch as well. I had a lot of uh, wire bite in that whole branch, so infection may have got in. So on Sunday, I spent a couple of hours on this section that you can see in front of you now. Um, and I don't think I've done too much of a bad job so far with just how crowded it is in there. None of the actual branches are touching when they are going to be all wired, I must say. Now I'm leaving some of these longer ones for winter because they're just too fragile to do anything and they may still grow, these smaller ones, but I love how that is looking. It just looks epic, if I do say so myself. I like that and that is um, cut paste that you see over that and I round the tree I do use a lot of cut paste now just because this weeping willow we willow is known weeping willow especially is known to lose branches for no reason um, so if I can everybody should dance now if I can um, try to halt infection getting in, then I do, because I've spent too many hours on this thing. Days, weeks, God knows how long. But when you've got a hobby and you can see the outcome and you can see your vision starting to take shape, then it's all worth it in the end. It really is. And I don't know, I just love weeping willow just looks beautiful and you couldn't you cannot do it without wires it won't be compact enough um you have to use wires i'm afraid and if you've not got the time to put into wiring it then you're not going to be able to achieve a very good effect and not only that it's going to cost you 20 30 pounds a year in wire alone and the reason is because I must have wired and taken off the wire wired taken off the wire wired this year three times um, so yeah that's that's another thing but yeah I, I am still hoping to see that's that's something I'm not that happy about I don't like that it just drops down and I may lose that whole branch up to there 
and use that secondary one there as my new front. And I did that, that. I did that for the reason. But this whole branch may die, so I thought about that as well. If that does die, I can do some bending and crap to sort that out. Now, I don't know what it is, but always this time of year, August, it always goes this beautiful, ready colour, the branches. I don't know. It always seems to be more vibrant in August. Um, and I know what you're thinking. Yeah, you're thinking everybody should dance now. But no, that's not what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. Hmm, you've got a few too many branches there, guy. And yes, maybe I have. But wire them now, and then in the winter, when you've got not much to do and you've got more time to look at it, you can start removing branches then. Just gives you time to look at it through the through the through those cold winter months. Oh yeah, and I bought a new that's my new wire. Cost me nine quid. 1.5 millimetre because I've I've been with this tree I've been going between two mil and one mil and I've not got an in-between and I needed an in-between for some of these branches like the one I'm going to show you now that bugger there he, he getting wide now not only that you can manipulate these wires into any shape you want within reason so alright it may look a lot but I can push these wires forward, back, in the middle of, in the centre of the tree, all sorts, you know what I mean? It's not until the the end of the year, come winter, when I can look at it and see what's, what branches I've got, what new shoots I've got, etc, etc, and make my creation that way. It's the same with a lot of these branches that I am wiring. Some are long, some are short, but I may be cutting them up more but last year I did get to minus 10 and I did get a lot of die back on my longer shoots so I may just leave the longer shoots for if they start to die back I can cut it off now if I've already cut them short and I get die back I've got to cut that further back and that may lose the whole shape of the tree that my vision is going for. Comprende? So now I've wired this branch, I'm going to do a leaf defoliation on the whole branch. Now I hear you ask, why the F are you going to do that on August the 20th? Now I'll tell you why, because I still think we've got a good month, two months left of the summer, or hot weather, warmish weather that this will shoot out again um, so if by doing this it will promote new shoots to shoot out but <clears throat> saying that you've got to remember to get your wire cutters and cut off the tip that's the tip of the branch So that is that all wired up. Now there, the majority of my big branches are wired. Not all of them, but majority. And we will just see what happens in the next couple of weeks. I have Fedder, Miracle Grow, for purpose. And um, she's doing great. Root system's doing great. Um, She's just loving this summer because it's just been wet, sunny, wet, sunny. Not that it bothers her because she gets watered all the time anyway. But yeah, I did leave some of these branches for today because I wanted to use my 1.5 millimeter wire. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that these wires, I can take them off in the winter. I'm hoping it'll grow because they grow so vigorously. I'm hoping it'll grow so quickly that 
it start to bite in to the wire but not leave a mark and then when I remove them they hold their shape and then I can wire the smaller shoots with my 0.5mm wire without wiring over wire as you know what I mean because it's just a wiry mess but it's organised you know it's organised alright so I'm going to do the same process as before and that is wire my branch cut the tip off and leave the foliation on that whole branch but not first before bending it into shape like so can you see that? Well, that's fine tuning to be done, don't worry. That is not my final bend. That needs to look more realistic. And I think that looks a okay. So, that is all I'm going to be doing today because it's been a long day at work and that's all I want to be doing today because it's tiring. But, if you have enjoyed watching this, and if you do like my creation so far, then please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I will see you next time. And hopefully, this thing will still be alive. Costing me a fortune in wire. But, uh, it's a hobby. And it's a beautiful hobby as well. I just think it looks gorgeous. But give me your thoughts. Tell me what you think. And just let me know what you think. Thanks a lot. Ta-da for now. <laughs>